What's up, everybody? Welcome to Tales from the Trash Can. I am your host, Since Light, and today's movie is The Sandman. So I'd heard that Sandman was pretty good, right? And I decided, hey, I'm going to look into it. And I see it there, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to watch Sandman. This was not The Sandman people said was good. This is The Sandman a movie that, honestly, was terrible. If, if you want to watch a movie like this, I would encourage you to watch Firestarter or Brightburn, which basically sell, tell very similar stories, but are just way better. Anyways, on to the plot. Uh, so it starts off with a little girl and her dad sneaking around, dad trying to get her to stay calm and not think about something, and then a sand monster comes and kills the dad. I will say the sand monster does look cool. Um... Uh, from there, though, she gets taken into custody. They're keeping her in a hospital. They want to keep her for longer because she's having nightmares and all that. But then the sand monster deletes the report out of the computer and kills the doctor that said it. Uh, and she gets released to, uh, to go live with her aunt. <laughs> at, at this point, though, it's, you know, she's still killing people with her sand monster that's afraid. Kills people that are trying to take her away or control her in any way. And it escalates so on until finally the government wants to get her and all this. I mean, yeah, I'll let you watch it if you want to. That's basically the gist of it. Uh, as for the stars, it has Haley Duff, Hilary Duff's sister. Uh, she's okay in it. Uh, the only really good acting in it was the little girl. And the little girl was pretty good acting-wise. She's why the movie's going to get the rating it does from it. Because um, she pretty much carried it. As for the effects, uh, it wasn't anything to write home about. I like the sand coming down, the chest bursting open over at one point. That just looked really cheesy. Um, yeah, <laughs> the sand monster looked cool. I, I guess that's, that's the effect I like. Uh, overall, I'm going to just right away just say it. It was a one and a half skull. I'm, I'm being really generous. I was going to give it lower, but I, I, I at least have to give some credit to the fact that the monster did look cool, and the little girl was doing great acting as the actual star of the movie. So that's, that's my final take on it. 1.5 skulls. I'd say if you want to watch a movie like this, watch Brightburn or Firestarter. They're much, much better versions of the same kind of story. Honestly, I would say Brightburn if you were to pick the three. But let me know in the comments what you guys think of the movie, or if there's a movie you'd like for me to review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace out, everybody.